Good morning and welcome to our prayer of the week. For this week, starting on the 16th or 17th of August, whichever you prefer, whether you start the week on a Sunday or you start the week on a Monday. But this is the prayer of the week. Now, we are called Christians, and the reason why we are called Christians is because we worship Jesus the Christ. We follow Christ. We are Jesus' disciples. And He's the Son of God, and therefore, we follow, we worship Him. And we are called Christians. Now, sometimes you may encounter people who ask you, but why are you a Christian? What exactly has this Jesus the Christ done for you? And of course, you can pull out some answers. Well, He loves me, and He died for me on the cross. Yeah, because of His blood, I, I'm cleansed, and I'm, I'm righteous, and, and so on and so forth. But sometimes people may say, well, thank you so much, but is there, is there a verse in the Bible? Where do you get all these things from? Is it just songs that you sing? Is it how you feel? But really, is there a verse in the Bible? Since the Bible is so important to you as Christians, is there a verse in the Bible that tells me exactly what Christ has done for you in a very succinct, summarized way? Well, there is. Because today's prayer of the week centers on this verse found in the Bible that tells us what Jesus has done for us. And it's found in Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. And we call it 5b because it's the second portion of the verse. And of course, we go into verse 6 as well. So this one and a half verses tell us in a very clear, succinct and simple manner what Christ has done for us. So allow me to read this for you from the NIV version. And it says, to him, to Jesus, who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Did you get that? Just the first two things. One, Jesus loved us. And that's why we love him, isn't it? Because he first loved us. Jesus loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. More than that, verse 6, and has made us to be a kingdom. That's royalty there. And priests that's holiness and purity, to serve his God and Father. There are five things there already. He loves us, freed us, made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve, given us this, this privilege to serve God and his Father, who is now also our God and our Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. So there you have it. One simple verse, or one and a half verses, found in Revelation chapter 1, 5b to 6, answering and giving us a very clear indication and clear answer. What exactly did Christ do for me? Well, He loves me. He freed me from my sins with His blood. And He made me to be royalty, a kingdom, and priests, righteousness, purity, in order to have this wonderful privilege of serving God and serving my Father in heaven. And so our prayer of the week centers on these two verses, or one and a half verses. And it's a simple prayer. Uh, and you can pray this also for this week, just to focus and cause our hearts to be grateful and appreciative of what Christ has done. And cause our minds also to be clearer in how we can respond to people who ask us, what has Christ done for you? Well, this is the prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being so gracious to one who is so undeserving. Thank you for loving me, for freeing me from my sins with your blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making me to be a kingdom and a priest and giving me this wonderful privilege to serve my God and my Father in heaven. All glory and honour and power be to you forever and ever. Amen simple prayer that leads us to focus on Him, to worship Him, to be grateful to Him, based really on this one and a half verses. I hope this has helped you. And uh, well, if you're hearing this or watching this, drop us a note. Among these five things, which is there one that resonates strongest with you? Is it loving that Christ loves you today? I mean, it's just wonderful to hear that again, that reminder. Or is it this thing about how you're freed from certain things, you're actually freed from sins because of, because of His precious blood. Or is it this thing about how He has pulled you out, lifted you up and made us into royalty now? 
or given us righteousness that we are priests to serve God and our Father. Which resonates most with you? Drop us a line, drop us a note somewhere. I would love to hear from you. So have a blessed week then. God bless you all.